So in the day classes, I worked on some stuff with a couple guys that were in here that some mistakes that they made, uh, tournament on Saturday, some half guard stuff, corrections, some things that we needed to make, uh, make some adjustments to. We're getting our face, uh, our head on the wrong side when we're playing half guard. So we, we addressed that this morning. Um, today, we're going to work on uh, from Del Heva guard, so whether I pull or whether we're just starting there. I'll pull just for context. You don't necessarily have to do that when you're doing the drill. Um, but we're going to talk about what happens when my foot on the hip gets passed off, meaning they put it in between their legs, they're going to start their pass, okay? We have to do something from there right away. We can't let that foot go to the floor and I don't place it somewhere. I have to do something with it, okay? So I'm going to show a couple of options on what we can do when that happens to stop my guard from getting passed, let them get too far down um, into their passing chain, okay? So, uh, all right, so I'll get myself into De La Hiva. Right? Get myself into position, right? So, whether I'm holding the sleeve, right? Once I make a move, I'm going to get to the collar and the heel. Right? So I'm playing foot on hip here. I've got my De La Hiva hook, right? So he's going to probably be constantly addressing, right? My grips, right? I keep my grip. So once he takes this foot off here, right? I can't let this come to the floor and not do something. Okay, because he's going to get over this knee, right? And this, this whole passing thing starts, okay? So we have some options. When he takes this, steps off this foot here, my foot goes right up the middle, okay? And then I'm going to take him this way, here, okay? And then right from here, I can sit up on the single. I already have the cover. He's pointing his hand on the floor. Run it, okay? Just one option, okay? Dave, as you were going in this side, were you lifting with your left hand? Too? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick, and take him out. I'm gonna use my hand to push him away too. Everything's about getting to post that free hand. That's making his leg lighter. I can pick it up. Then I can swing and sit up on that that single leg. Okay. So I have his heel, right? He steps that off. That's fine. My foot goes up the middle. I can post on the floor too, that works too. Here, right? And then now, I'm gonna swing this leg, I'm gonna open my knee, very much like those other sit, uh, sit up guard techniques that you guys were doing here recently. Here, come up, okay? Once I'm here, okay? Does that make sense? So I'm gonna lighten that leg I want to focus on that. I'll just do that part of it before we show the, the stand-up part. So as soon as he takes that foot off, right, foot goes in, here, I push him away. I'm not the longest of leg person, right, but some folks in here can really utilize that pushing them away, okay? I can use this too, right? I'll just leave it in here. I'm going to swing, let that knee come down, and wrap that leg here as I push and run him up. Okay. This leg that's up the middle is going to open. That's going to be my base to stand up on. Does that make sense? I swing or chop that De La Hiva leg. I'm going to punch him and run him out. Okay. Does that make sense? Any questions? <laughs> that's one way, right? But we're going to constantly keep them moving. I can move them to the outside. I can take them overhead. I can take it to the left. Okay. But if that foot gets taken off the hip or shoulder or wherever I'm playing it, I have to put it somewhere. I can't just leave it in no man's land because they're going to step over that leg. And once that does, they come down, they're going to pass. Okay. I have to go somewhere with it. I have to keep off balancing. Okay. Let's move to the next spot. So one more time. So here, right? Maybe I push it out. He steps over. So I immediately hit him. Right? Now I chop the leg down and I'm going to wrap my elbow around his knee as I open my knee to the floor. <laughs> okay? All right? After right here, I step back. Finish. Okay? Yes, sir. So uh, sometimes I don't get collar, but I'll have the majority of the Deladiva. Can you, if they still hop your foot, do you have to have that hand out? It's, it's, uh, when, I, when I stand up or? Well, just when you do your foot kick, right? Because when, 
like most of the time. Yes, because if I'm not doing something with that, I'm not going to be able to stand back up. Okay. Okay, I have other. I guess if he asking. breaks that collar. Yeah. Right? Right? I grab something here. Right? And then this foot can either kick. It's probably not going to be enough without his collar. Okay? okay. Okay. So if he pushes that foot down, right? Here. Okay, that's for for another day. Because what that's going to do is allow me to push and readdress. Okay, okay. but I want to keep him moving, right? He takes that off. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Everybody, try that. One, two, three.